Hey everybody, I'm sorry it's been so long since I'd done a review, uh, probably a year or so. Um, I apologize, uh, a lot going on. My wife got a new job, I got a new job, uh, we're in a new apartment, and I'm not sure if I had, we had the dog, um, during my last review, I'm not quite sure, um, but we have a dog, so, yeah, a lot's been going on, so, uh, sorry, sorry that I have been, uh, delayed in getting another review out there, um, so I figured since, uh, my birthday happened not too long ago, um, just last month, I'd do a review on my birthday gift that uh, my wife got me. And that's the Gerber US Assist knife. Um, the S30V version. Uh, they have two versions of the knife. Um, 420HC and S30V. Um, I honestly would say go for the S30V because I think the 420HC is like $10 less, and that to me is ridiculous, because it's like, I think, 80 bucks for the 420HC, and then you got like 90 bucks for the S30V. Really doesn't make any sense. Um, but that's Gerber. You know, they're always... For some reason, they always seem to do something wrong, I think. Um... So, I, I don't know where they're coming up with these things, but okay. Um, so, um, I've been with a customer of Gerber for quite a while. Um, you know, uh, my first pocket knife was a Gerber. My first multi-tool was a Gerber. My first assisted knife was a Gerber. So I've had quite a bit of experience with Gerber knives, um, and in my experience, for the most part, they've been, you know, every company has hit or misses. You know, there's not a company that I've experienced anyway that's, like, put out exactly always a hit, you know, um, a company that I've, you know, used many products from, so... And that is definitely true in the knife world, um, but Gerber's one of those companies that's constantly getting a miss. You know, every once in a while they get a hit, but they've been getting a lot of misses um, in recent years, especially. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, so, you know, I. Uh, I have my Gerber Instant. I love that. That's definitely a hit for me. The Gerber Diesel Multi-Tool. I love that one as well. And I have a Gerber Applegate uh, Fairbairn knife that uh, I do enjoy also. I think it's actually overpriced, because, especially due to the steel and materials, but I nevertheless enjoy the knife and the Gerber Decree, which... Uh, I think could have been made a little bit better for USA, quote unquote USA made knife, but uh, it's uh, still a uh, favorite of mine as far as a uh, rescue knife, tactical knife would be. Um, so every once in a while Gerber does get something right, and I think this is one of those knives right here before you that I think they got right, or at least mine anyway. I have heard some negative reviews on this knife, um, but in a few positives. But uh, for me, having carried it a whew, what is it, almost a month um, straight, I haven't had a problem with this knife at all. Um, it's done what it needs to do. Uh, so let's talk about materials. Uh, price, you already know, it's like. 90 to 100 bucks, and then like you got the 420 HC versions like 70 to 80 bucks. Um, 
I, I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, when they had, they brought out the uh, Propel. Um, the Propel Automatic, the Propel Downrange, the Propel AO, etc. They have the S30V version and the 420HC version, and you only have to pay just a little bit more to get the S30V version. So, why they do that, I don't know. Because uh, 420HC is really not that great of a steal. I mean, it's not bad, but for the price that they're asking, you can definitely get better steals. Um, so, come on, Gerber. Get it together now. Um, but as far as this is S30V, and it's great. Um, so this is an assisted opener, obviously due to the name, Assist. Uh, the handles are gray, textured, um, glass reinforced nylon. Yeah, I would have preferred something like uh, aluminum or G10, especially G10. But, you know, once again, Gerber, I don't know. They put, they'll put put G10 on a cheaper knife of theirs, but they won't put it on a more expensive knife. I guess, you know, unless it's like the Propel. Um, so... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's still, you know, it's fairly nice. It holds up very well. It hasn't caused me any problems. And, you know, um, when you compare it to a knife of similar price, being the uh, Benchmade Griptilian, um, Benchmade Griptilian has uh, similar scales. So, you know, uh, this does have full stainless liners and a backspacer. Um, and what it has is what Gerber calls the boss tech technology, which is boss stands for balls of stainless steel. And uh, what it is is it's actual ball bearings here, but they're caged ball bearings on both sides. Not just like on the Gerber Instant where it's just ball bearings. You know, these are actually caged inside like a washer. Um, and so that's pr supposed to offer, you know, the smooth, reliable performance that should hold up well over time. Um, it does have here, this right here is the cross bolt safety. So now it's, uh, you don't see the red, so it's locked, it can't open. Push it down, see red, now it can open. And it does open very smooth and very fast. Um, it's a really good EDC knife. Uh, you see it has a stone washed drop point blade made of S30V again. And uh, it's... Uh, I wouldn't... If it's hollow ground, it's fairly shallow. Uh, it might be a saber ground blade. But very nice, good stock on it, fairly good stock, not the, you know, best, but pretty good stock. And uh, what I don't like is that, you see, there's an unsharpened portion right there. So the edge actually starts here on the blade. Uh, it's three inches, and you can see it has dual th ramped thumb studs. And thumb studs remind me of the thumb studs on, like, the uh, Kershaw blur. Um... And it locks up with a plunge lock, so push that down and disengage it. Um, and the cross bolt can also be engaged when the knife is open, so even if you disengage the you know, the plunge lock, it's still locked. I mean, you can hear it has a little bit of play, but it's still locked up. So. does have a lanyard hole and a wired pocket clip um, that reminds me of like the uh, Milwaukee Fastback which I did a review on a while back um, it can be reversed to tip down carry only on the right side though so sorry lefties they give you a thumb thumb stud but they don't give you a uh, position here for the pocket clip 
Um, it's centered, uh, I would say it's off just a little, but no rubbing. It's off by like a molecule. Um, but yeah, a very nice EDC knife that, again, I've been carrying, and uh, I've enjoyed it. It is made in the USA, Portland, Oregon. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it does say S30V down there. Um, and when you disengage the blade, it just falls down. It's just very smooth. Just overall, excellent little EDC knife. Um, I do recommend it. I highly recommend this knife. Um, I mean, again, this is Gerber we're talking about, so chances are you may wind up with the knife that uh, that other reviews have complained about, you know, that ha has centering issues and rubs with the liner or the pocket clip bent too easily or something. You know, there, there's bound to be some issues. Um, I will say that it, having just to adjust it a little... Actually, I didn't really have to adjust it. I just couldn't let leave well enough alone. I did slightly strip the uh, pivot screw. Uh, it does have no side-to-side -side blade play. Um, it has slight up-and-down blade play. But um, it's remained sturdy these three weeks or so that I've been carrying it. Um, so... I think it's been three weeks. It's been almost three weeks, actually. So, but anyway, great knife, in my opinion. So, thanks a lot for watching. God bless.